want to uh, thank a couple of people first. Um, I want to thank uh, Lucy Zonian for inviting me down here to, uh, to talk. Uh, I want to thank Stephen from the Staples in Troy, New York for making sure I could get on the train. <laughs> and for uh, sh shaving me so that I would look presentable today. I want to thank the girl with black hair who picked me up at the train station and brought me here. And I want to thank that girl with black hair for helping me write these notes. I, um, it's hard for me to uh, remember things because of the medication that I have to take from my fibromyalgia. Um, it also gives me a little bit of dry mouth. <laughs> my name is uh, Seth Romney Levinson. For those of you who don't know me, um, I am Mitt Romney's oldest brother, or son. <laughs> and, um, I know a lot of you are probably wondering why uh, I have not posted on my blog recently <laughs> at the sixbrother.blogspot.com. Uh, I'll discuss that a little bit later because uh, I wasn't quite sure. Uh, I didn't know that this was going to be a comedy program. Uh, I have done comedy in the past. Um, so I did write down some old jokes, uh, but then I will get to talk about the thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, specifically regarding uh, why I was kept from posting on my blog. Uh, I am half Jewish and half Mormon, which means I have eight bitchy wives. My dad, Mitt Romney, and I are estranged. It's more like he's strange. <laughs> and I'm not. Uh, he's a Mormon, and so he uh, thinks that his underwear is magical. And I'm a Jew who believes that Jesus is the Lord and our Savior, my personal Redeemer. And I believe that I have magic in my underwear. <laughs> so a couple of girls told me. Uh, many of you know my dad. Mitt Romney is running for president. He's really good at running from things. Like my mother, after he knocked her up on a craps table in Reno, Nevada. <laughs> And then, uh, during her ultrasound, uh, the doctor thought he saw some irregularities. It turned out to be a pair of dice. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> okay. As you can see, uh, unlike my five half-brothers, I'm not as horse-faced as they are. Like Ben, or Craig, or Josh, or Matt, whose name is really actually Mitt, but he changed it. Or Tag, or Tag Fag, as I like to call him. Uh, when my dad says that he has a fit, uh, a stable family life, he's talking about where they sleep. Because they all have horse faces. Um, my dad doesn't win for president. Missing uh, paper. Uh, oh, I don't want to say that my uh, that Mitt Romney's been a bad dad, uh, but I read in the paper that he does support the one child left behind bill. <laughs> Me. 
I have another joke in case anybody's listening. Tag. I call him Tag Fag. Tag is so gay, they named him a name that rhymed with fag. Uh, okay, here's a joke. Uh, what do you call someone who was walking out of the Price Right in Troy, New York, and then all of a sudden was hit with a forklift, and then uh, thrown to the ground, and then run over multiple times by uh, shopping carts, by a guy who looked very, almost identical, at least in terms of the, all, practically the same height, as a guy who didn't let that thing or person into the Longwood Tennis Club uh, for a fundraiser for Mitt Romney six years ago on the direction of Tag Romney. Me. And what do you call someone who had uh, every single one of his fingers broken and also suffered uh, several hairline fractures in about 14 bones in his forearms because he was run over by a uh, forklift and then which had no business being at a price right on a Wednesday, which is not the day where they deliver any of the food, and then multiple times by shopping carts that seemed to come out of nowhere just on the eve of him writing on his blog that he was going to endorse Ron Paul. And all you say, I don't care if you don't like the Constitution. Ron Paul does. But the UN is coming to take your guns. Well, that's not a good thing. Fuck you. Fuck you. All five of you guys are fucking assholes. <laughs> Josh is gay. Josh is also gay. And he never went to that Exodus camp. No, wait a second. I never went to that Exodus camp.